Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to finish up on my review, I guess, of the uh, 22 long rifle that I was uh, testing out between the CCI mini mags, the Stingers, and the Federal bulk ammo. And I actually picked up what they had, the Federal Champion 22 long rifle. Uh, I was at Cabela's the other day to get the 22 mini mags and uh, do some other shopping around there and uh, thought I'd go ahead and get the stuff and finish up on on my evaluation here uh, really curiosity so uh, I went to the range and uh, took some video uh, shooting some targets which uh, I'll add on here at the end of, the end of this se segment and uh, <clears throat> I'll just uh, give a quick run through here uh, the way that I uh, shot at the range is actually the way that it's on the targets that I'm about to show you uh, from left to right is the stingers which it is the 1640 feet per second the federal mini mag is 1235 feet per second the federal champion is 1240 feet per second and I actually don't know what the, the bulk ammo is. I didn't even look it up. And I don't think that it's actually on the uh, package there. So but let me uh, set this up. And we'll get started on the actual uh, the targets that I was shooting at that day. So we'll start here. This target... Uh, I was, my gun is actually shooting high. Uh, in the video I said this was about 50 yards and it's technically closer to 40 yards. Uh, the last time, the last video I made was around 75 yards. And uh, so the the groups are going to drop a little bit because I was lowering the uh, the adjustments on my scope as I went. But the groupings are all... You know, is what I'm looking for here. So this is the the federal long rifle, the bulk ammunition. You can see what uh, it holds a good pattern. Uh, it's a little bit uh, up and down, you know, which uh, some of that could very well be myself. And uh, for the way I was shooting there that day. And the next, this is the federal champion, which. Uh, Overall, you know, I didn't really see that there was much difference. Uh, you know, actually, the bulk ammo looked like it did a little bit better on the grouping. Uh, but overall, it's uh, for it was uh, three two ninety nine two dollars and ninety nine cents plus tax for fifty rounds of the Federal Champion. You know, compared to about fifteen dollars for five hundred and. Actually, I think uh, it's 525 rounds in the Federals now, but that's a little bit older box. It's 550 round box. Okay, and the top right here, now this is the CCI Mini Mag, which uh, I actually liked watching the video because you could see the repeated strikes in, in the certain areas there, the kind of the high spot right in here uh, but overall you know it's uh, I didn't think that it uh, held up as great as the federal bulk ammo I mean it does uh, it probably is a higher feet per second and probably runs smoother than the uh, the bulk and the last but certainly not least here is the CCI stinger um, there is a flyer, a couple flyers there, They're definitely the high left. Um, but watch the watch whenever I uh, in the video that I show shooting these targets. Uh, it actually looks like the bullets hit in just two or maybe three spots there. I mean, this is uh, 14 rounds in each target, and uh, it's actually. Uh, interesting I mean I would put uh, 
if I was going for 100% uh, accuracy or the better shooting uh, bullet, I would definitely go with the Stinger. Um, any of them are still going to do the job. The Stingers right here, I purchased these. They're at Walmart. Uh, they're actually Cabela's. Uh, carries them as well. Uh, you're looking about $7 for 50 rounds. Uh, you're looking about $7 for 100 rounds of the mini mags. Uh, $2.99 or $3 for the Federal Champion. And about $15. $15 to $16 is usually what you can pick up the Federal Bulk. So that's uh, really uh, all I have to say on this for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and post up the, the video of uh, the shooting that I did at the range on the targets. So uh, enjoy and thanks for watching.